Well, this is going to be uh, pretty traditional. The Republican states are going to vote Republican. The Democratic states are going to vote Democrat. And if Trump wins, which I think he will, it'll be by pulling away New Hampshire, Pennsylvania, possibly Michigan, uh, where you've got a lot of ex-car uh, workers who see their car factories now in Mexico and where the NAFTA argument, the anti-NAFTA argument, probably has the biggest impact, uh, and possibly Wisconsin on the corruption issue. Uh, with states like Wisconsin and Minnesota, <laughs> they're pretty honest. <laughs> so unlike states like New York and California, where they're used to this kind of corruption, or, or Illinois, this uh, kind of corruption that they're seeing gets them disgusted. Illinois, they... They're looking, well, at, they're looking at this. They're like, what are you talking about? Right? <laughs> really? Well, this? Does it surprise you that both uh, uh, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama come <laughs> okay. from Chicago? It doesn't surprise me. Uh, so will you be uh, in the cabinet if, they're, if, if you're right and if uh, Donald well, Trump Well, that's, wins? I mean, that, that, that's a conversation for Donald Trump and me to have and not... Well, I'm sure I, you've I, had it. I would, I would absolutely not. I would really? Talk, I would you have not, not to this day. To this he day, has not I have said not to you, Mr. Mayor, I would love you to do X, Y, and Z. I mean, you've spoken out very vociferously about I, I, I Hillary Clinton all, and how indictable she is. I avoid all conversations What would you that. like? I'm not going to tell you, and I'm not sure I know. Would you like to prosecute Hillary I would Clinton like yourself? To see, I would yourself. like to You're see a prosecutor. him. I would like to see him elected. And I would do anything I could to prevent her from being elected short of something unethical or illegal, uh, because I think that uh, even before I knew all this, I knew all this. A year ago, I predicted that she would be indicted on multiple counts of exposing uh, national security information and uh, being involved in bribery with regard to the Clinton Foundation. You just look at one or two or three transactions, UBS, where she goes to Geneva, intervenes with the IRS, UBS gives them couple million dollars, $1.5 million, speaking fee for Bill Clinton. Come on. Uh, you look at uranium. She agrees to 20% of our uranium being sold to Russia. Meanwhile, all of Bill's friends make a, over $100 million on that deal. Bill and Hillary make about three. Uh, look at the Ericsson Corporation. Again, big contributors to all of the Clinton RICO enterprise, racketeering enterprise. Ericsson Corporation is the only corporation that gets that gets immunity from uh, Iranian sanctions. I can go on and on and on and on and list this is, You know, I, 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 we just had a, quite a few people in the last couple of hours, business people say, but, you know, I, I, Hillary just will be more stable. I know, I know, what, she, I know what she's probably going to do. It'll be like the last eight years. It'll be good for my business. And their eyes kind of glaze over. And it's almost as if they're saying politicians should be we, we know what they we know yeah, how they operate. Ducks it's got to, you know, birds got to fly. What, what, gotta... You know what's not going to be good for their business? Uh, a two-year Watergate uh, investigation of her, with her being. What if impeached. you're really good at doing things like this? Maybe you'll be really good at, at government. I, sometimes I think about it. <laughs> I do. Sometimes I think about it that way. That you're, yeah, you're I, think, real, huh? I also I also think they discount the fact that Donald Trump does come from business. Is does have a very pro-business agenda. Uh, he's for lower taxes, he's for less regulations, he's for uh, reducing the burdens, the burdens on business, for growing jobs. Uh, he is for a more muscular uh, military, a much bigger military. Right. Can, we, uh, can we talk about um, July and Comey and the interplay between the FBI and the Justice Department? Sure. What, what do you make of, of this well, what Justice I, what Department? What I make of that now... That Did I, is this Eric Holder's Justice Department? Now, Where now, do these now, people come I mean, from? I've, I've heard some of this from retired FBI agents, so I don't, but I don't know it firsthand. But now I read about it, and obviously for about a year we've had a, a war going on between the uh, politically uh, infested Justice Department, which to me is a disgrace, with a bunch of political hacks, trying to stop basically career FBI agents from doing their job the way they normally would do it. Normally a case like this a year and a half ago would have been put in a grand jury. The FBI would not have been hamstrung by not having subpoena power, not having the, the ability that, that, that you have from a grand jury to really get the truth out of people. Uh, nothing like a grand jury to put the fear of God in someone and they tell the truth and you don't get five versions of it. So they were turned down every time they asked for a grand jury by Loretta Lynch, by the Justice Department. And you look at that, then you look at the backgrounds of these people. These were all Clinton operatives that were uh, sitting there turning this down. Then we have this guy Kadzik actually leaking to Podesta. Kadzik is the lawyer that Podesta said kept him out of jail. That's I'm interesting to know what he kept him out of jail for. But uh, And this guy's sitting in the, in the middle of it, tipping him off 
as to uh, when Congress is going to be asking for things. Yeah. These are things that are unheard of in the Justice Department. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.